Hello, everyone. This is Fernando with Texas United Realty and United Real Estate. I uh, want to uh, thank you for joining me and joining us. Uh, we have a special uh, guest speaker, uh, Dorian Lotto. Uh, today, we're going to focus on what does virtual staging a home mean? What does that really mean? And how does it work? And what are the benefits? Um, again, we have uh, Dorian Lotto on the line, and she's an accredited staging professional. Uh, and I'm uh, Fernando Loera with the, I'm the director of mentorship. So on the agenda, we're going to be focusing on benefits of a virtual staging a home, different types of virtual staging a home, the pros and cons of staging a home. And then we're also going to see some pictures uh, before and after staging pictures examples that Dorian had provided me. Uh, and then lastly, uh, emphasize on the disclaimer and the, uh, and as far as the captions of these pictures and the importance of, dis of the disclaimer. And then we'll follow with the Q&A session. <clears throat> so uh, Dorian, go ahead and proceed. Okay, good evening, everybody. I wanted to share with you about staging and how important that I believe it is to provide for a seller when listing their home. And there are different types of staging a home, uh, staging a vacant home, which entails bringing in furniture and accessories to help a potential buyer to visualize how their furnishings will look in the home. Staging a home that is occupied, this can be done with the seller's furnishings and accessories. And virtual staging with a vacant home, which I will talk about tonight. As you know, uh, virtual staging is using designers to enhance a room using software, which may help the home sell faster and helps the buyer to visualize a home and how their furnishings look in the home. As we all know, a great percentage of buyers start their home search online. Why not give them a great presentation online with virtual staging? The market is changing and we want our listings to stand out to attract buyers. Let's first talk about the attributes of virtual staging. Here are some pros of virtual staging as per lcpmedia.com. One, virtual staging can reduce the cost of staging by up to 97%. Two, virtual staging can help rent homes and units for more money. I have personally virtually staged rentals and have had good results. Three, traditional staging consultation can cost up to $500. Virtual staging consultation costs zero. Four, virtual staging can look 100% like the real thing. Five, 81% of prospects find it easier to visualize the property as their future home when it's staged, according to the National Association of Realtors. Most people cannot visualize how a vacant home can look with furnishings and accessories. Virtual staging mm -hmm. really helps with this. Six, stage properties rent sell faster than unstaged properties. Seven, on average, home staging ROI is 586%. What does the ROI stand for? Uh, Return on investment. Thank you. <clears throat> Eight, virtual staging offers 100% creative freedom. Designers can add art to walls, pillows, candles, and other accessories. They can add furniture rugs and outfit the home with latest technology. Different furnishing styles can be used such as traditional, modern, contemporary, Scandinavian, farmhouse, industrial, and coastal. The virtual stager that I've used in the past always asked me to include a picture of the exterior of the home so that the style of furnishings inside can complement the exterior. Nine. Most people make a judgment on a property within seven to 10 seconds of viewing it. So, so important to make a great first impression online. So what are the cons of virtual staging? Photo one, photographs can be misleading. MLS for Houston Association of Realtors requires that all the pictures that are virtually staged be stated in the captions. And I put this in quotes, virtually staged blank, and it could be in your description there for that picture has to be put in the captions, virtually staged, to be transparent with the public. And two, virtual furniture won't be on site for in-person tours. A wonderful idea that I recently heard about, and I thank you to Ed Oliver for this, 
is to have an enlarged poster of the virtually staged picture of the room on an easel when buyers come to tour the home. You could also use brochures with the virtual stage pictures to help buyers to visualize the home during their home tour. One thing that I like to include in my listings is to actually stage the kitchen area and bathrooms. I place towels and accessories in the bathrooms and kitchen area. I think this enhances the kitchens and bathrooms and again, helps the buyer to visualize these areas. I like to do this so the virtually staged photos and actual stage areas flow together. And I believe this is more attractive to the buyer. I have on hand some accessories, decor and towels to accomplish this for my sellers. This is an idea that you may want to do also with your listings. Here are some great statistics on buyer's perspectives of staging from 35 home staging and virtual staging statistics by Matt Langan. 41% of agents noted that buyers are more willing to walk through home they saw online, and that source is NAR. 47% of buyer's agents reported that staging had a distinct impact on the buyer's view of the home, and that source is NAR. 82% of buyer's agents reported that staging helped buyers visualize the property as their future home, and that source is NAR. And this is my favorite reason why I virtually stage homes for my sellers. Um, an average of 10% of buyers feel that listings should look like homes on TV shows. And that's from NAR. The cost and convenience of staging are important factors for the home sellers and the listing agent. But in the end, what really matters is whether or not home staging actually works. Here are nine stats that show exactly how home staging impacts properties. Stage homes sell 88% faster and for 20% more than non-stage homes, and that source is Realtor. 75% of sellers who use home staging saw an ROI, return, which is return on investment, of 5 to 15% over asking price, and that's from Real Estate Staging Association. 31% of real estate agents reported that staging a home greatly decreased the amount of time it's set on the market. And that's from NAR. 23% of real estate agents stated that home staging increases <clears throat> the dollar value of a home between one to 5%, and that source is NAR. 18% of real estate agents stated that home staging increases the dollar value of a home between six to 10%, and that source is NAR. Over 50% of homes that were staged in 2020 sold for five to 23% over the listing price. And that's from Real Estate Staging Association. And 67% of agents say that home staging helps homes sell for more money. And that source is home light. 92% of real estate professionals believe home staging helps sell properties in general. And that's from home light. So to review about all this, the best scenario when you have a vacant home would be to stage the home with furnishings and accessories. This would be the best option if available in the budget for seller or the agent. There are staging companies that can accomplish this. In the training folder, there is a staging training by Linda Wilkins regarding this. But if not affordable for a complete staging of the home, try virtual staging. It really helps a buyer to visualize what it would be like for them to live in the home with their furnishings. Virtual staging is much more affordable. In regards to photos, take high quality photos. It works well to have a flow to your pictures as when you do a walkthrough of the home. And this is something that has worked well for me. A few years ago, one of my clients asked me if I could have the inside of their home as the primary picture in the MLS instead of an exterior picture. And I changed this right away for my client. And I continue to do this with great results. When you think about it, people really want to know what the inside of the home looks like, as this is a the place they will be spending most of their time. I start the photos with the interior front of the house, and I finish with the exterior of the home front to back. I hope this has been a help to everybody. Please feel free to contact me if I can help you when you receive a listing and need some help with staging. I would be happy to do a walkthrough on Zoom or with Facebook and help you with that. That's complimentary. 
Um, here are some pictures from some of my listings showing the virtually staged photo and original photo side by side. And I've also included some pictures of the bathroom and kitchen areas that I stage with accessories. And just as a reminder, if you use virtually staged photos, state in the captions that the picture is virtually staged to be transparent and compliant with the MOS. And here's some staging before and after pictures of a kitchen. Um, in this picture here, I did add some accessories to the kitchen in the top picture, you can see that. And then the virtual stager added the dining room or the breakfast area and the pictures on the wall there. Yeah, and this is, cool. isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how it, it blends together. Now, are these, are these glasses on the counter uh, real or fake? Yes, no, that's real. Those are my oh. accessories that I added and, oh, the, okay. oh, and the faux plant. And then what she did is the, the virtual stager added the, the table, the chairs and the pictures on the wall. So oh, it all right. kinds of blends together, yeah. Right. And so then this is a primary bedroom here. Um, and you can see it's so cool. They added the drapes in here and the pictures on the wall and it just looks totally different. Man, I'm so, I mean, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I like to always when I in the MLS when I put my pictures, I put them side by side also. Right. Um, um, I'll put the virtually staged picture and I'll put it in the caption of course that it's virtually staged. And then I'll put the, the before picture to the right of that, you know, the next picture right. over so they can see it. Okay, and here's a living room that is um, virtually staged before and after. And really cool. She even put the fireplace on the fire in the fireplace. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I think Man. is really nice. All you need is marshmallows. And you're yes. <laughs> and then uh, we have a before and after secondary bedroom here. Um, which is really nice. And she added some things on the windows, some coverings there and different. I mean, things. the furniture looks so real. Yes, doesn't it? It does. And then this is a family room, one of my listings um, before and after, and just just changes the whole room. It does. But it really helps the, the whole purpose of it is just like the main thing that I do it for is it really helps the buyers to visualize their furnishings in, in the room, in the home. So they can say, oh, wow, I can do my furniture like this. Exactly. <laughs> so it helps. Okay, here's a dining room area um, before and after. And, yeah. and here the, uh, is a picture of a bathroom where I just put some accessories, some decorations on the sink, some towels hanging up, some uh, rolled up towels by the garden tub. Oh, so you can put towels too? Yeah, this is so when I, yeah, the, these are at where I've actually staged the bathrooms. Oh, oh, staging. Yes. And so when I take the pictures and then I have the virtually staged pictures in there, I just think it all flows together better mm. than having the, you know, the, the kitchen or the bathrooms with nothing in there. Right. And here's a, the last picture here is a picture of a kitchen um, with faux plants. And I have a plaque on a stand in there just to uh, enhance the kitchen. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I guess we can open up for questions, Q and A. And 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 I wanted uh, Dorian to 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 do this presentation because there's a lot of us that are trying to we're listing agents and we're we're I've been receiving phone calls from agents saying, hey, it's getting harder to to sell the house, and you know what do we do and uh, how do we push our house, you know, to sell? And one of them is staging, you know, and virtual staging, like uh, Dorian says, is more economical versus real staging. Oh, yes. So uh, make sure your uh, devices are on mute. And if you want to ask a question to Dorian, again, Dorian Lotto, she's an accredited staging professional. So you're talking to the expert. And uh, also, if you can reiterate, Dorian, that um, <clears throat> they can contact you and, and you do something complimentary. Oh, yes, please. If, if there's if you get a listing and you just need to I'll do it over Facebook or Zoom. But if you you want to do like a staging consultation for your client and you want to do a walkthrough, um, even if it's got if they have their own furnishings in there and you just need some help, you know, getting that home ready to take pictures. 
you want to do a walkthrough, um, you know, by phone or Zoom, I'd be happy to do that. And I can give suggestions because I've done staging with, um, of course, when the client has their own furnishing still in the house. And, and then if it's vacant, we can, you know, we can do a walkthrough also, um, just give some, give some ideas, maybe to put some accessories in the kitchen and the bathrooms, if that helps you. Be yeah, happy to Dorian, help. They want, they want me to put your phone number on, on the chat. Is that okay? Sure, of course. Okay. So it's 281-687-7500. And they can text you or yes, of course. Um, and your email address? Um, Dorian Home Sales at gmail.com. With, with an S at the end? Yes, of, of sales, yes. And then gmail.com? Yes. Okay. So I put uh, Dorian's uh, contact information in our chat. Oh, it's, it's sales, S A L E S. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Dor okay. Dorian home and then sales S -A -L -E, right S A L E S yes gotcha at, at Gmail. Sorry com. guys. Um, so it's Dorian Home H O M E sales uh -huh. S A L E S at gmail.com. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, any questions, guys? Uh, before we wrap it up, I know everybody's probably dying to get off the call and hang out with their families and friends and such. Um, but I just wanted uh, Dorian to speak about this virtual staging because I think it's going to help us as listing agents to push our our inventory and uh, and and you know we can hopefully beat our competition you know yes. our competitors where you know the other uh, brokerages can go man why did they sell that house faster than I did well they had a stager stager <laughs> you know. Um, but if nobody has any questions, we can wrap it up. <clears throat> Thank you, Dorian. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Uh, there, I'm seeing a lot of uh, like thumbs up and great, you know, nice presentation and all that kind of good stuff. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your uh, nice feedback. Well, thank you, Dorian, for your time. I really. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. We'll be, uh, posting this on our website. Um, um either tonight or tomorrow all right thank you guys appreciate it thank you have a good thank evening. you thank you